Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands More Hearts. How are you guys? Happy to have you with me today for another fabulous project. We have still have two more days after today to get our projects in for Tiny Easter Treats Week. Um, those of you who have been checking out my projects, I hope you've been enjoying them. And if you're new, please go back and check them out. I've had projects since Sunday. And I've had two weeks of Easter projects using the Easter Bunny stamp set. Um a couple weeks back. So check those out as well. I also have a playlist of all my Easter projects that I've ever done. So these are included on that as well. Um, thanks for being here and let's go ahead and get started. We are making a happy Easter lint chocolate mini box. This mini bunny box. How cute is this bunny? Um, for those of you who don't know, my daughter has a bunny. His name is Jasper and he is near and dear to me. He hangs out in my craft room with me. He's in my studio pretty much every day and he's like my little ambassador my little crafting ambassador so he's um black and he has a white underbelly um a little bit of white in his paws he's pretty cute and this bunny box reminds me of him so as you can see here we're using the easter bunny stamp set just for the happy easter sentiment but we're using the ladybug builder punch to make this project so hang out here with me and we will get started. Um, we're going to start with a piece of balmy blue cardstock and of course my Simply Scoreboard. You guys know that I love the Simply Scoreboard. So let's bring it in. All right, we are going to do a little scoring and this piece of balmy blue is three and three quarters by five and a half. So what that tells you is that you can get four of these boxes out of one sheet of cardstock. If that doesn't make your heart sing, I don't know what will. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started with our scoring. So we are gonna score in a few places. Um, not sure that I have my measurements correct. Give me one second. I just checked and I don't really care for um, how I wrote that down. So. think I'm just doing a quick calculation because I don't want to mess up the measurements of course that's the best part without that you can't even make any projects right so okay on the long side we're gonna score it at one and a quarter two and a half three and three quarters and five and on the short side, we're going to score it at one and a quarter and two and a half. That wasn't too bad. I just had, I spaced for a second there. But again, on the long side, one and a half, I'm sorry, one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters and five. And on the short side, one and a quarter and two and a half. Let's go ahead and remove that. I apologize for um, the confusion <laughs> for one split second there. Okay, so now we are going to do our cutting. So for this, you can see we have this little kind of set of squares and then this long section. Let's burnish first and make sure that we have nice solid score marks that make it easier for me to see when I'm cutting. I like to use a thick bladed scissor whenever I do um, my cutting of boxes because the score lines, I don't like how thick they are and I kind of like to cut them out of the way with a, with, a, um, with a thick bladed scissor. I mean, don't get me wrong, love, love, love my um, paper snips, but just like everything, there's um, a place and time for each tool that we have, right? Which is why we have so much, not because we love it or collect things, right? <laughs> oh boy. Let me grab my pieces and we will get started. Okay, so we are gonna cut this centerpiece is the only on the skinny end that we need. So we're going to angle cut right here and we're going to remove that rectangle. 
and we're going to angle cut here and we're going to remove this rectangle two out of the way okay this is the little tab that tucks in the box oh i should probably show you i like to keep the box open because i like to kind of prop that happy easter up but you can close it all the way there is my lindor lindor in there let's go ahead and um see how the box does close i just um like it propped open i didn't mean to push it so hard so there's the box closed but i like to prop it open because i like that little happy easter to kind of pop up all right now this next section are going to be the side tabs and they're too long so we're going to just go ahead and come straight across and we're going to half them so i'm just going to go ahead and half those right now and I'm going to get rid of this piece and angle cut this end so there's one we're gonna angle cut this one let's do the other side so we're gonna get rid of this piece And we're going to angle cut and angle cut. So this is the top of our box. All right. Now the rest is staying intact. We're just going to cut straight down. But because I don't like the way these score marks are so thick, you know me, I'm going to cut on both sides and get rid of that centerpiece here. So just give me a second. It probably doesn't make any difference, but it's just a thing that I have. So another reason why I like these thick scissors. So there's that side and then this side. And you can see it is really um, a very simple box. Um, and who doesn't like to receive one of those Lindor Lint chocolates, right? In a mini bunny box all right so there is what you have when you're done go ahead and take a quick screenshot of that <clears throat> while i prepare my pieces that we're going to be using so we are going to use our um flowers and more dsp and i have cut myself one and an eighth by one and an eighth squares and you need five of them because you need four all the way around and you did one for your lid so let's flip this over and bring our silicone mat in and let's go ahead and glue the one for the lid. I love the flowers and more paper. It's in our mini catalog and it is a host paper. So in other words, you can get it if you put in a $150 order or host a party um, or gather orders from your friends. All right, so to figure out what other places we're going to stick this, I'm going to kind of show you how the box goes together, okay? So these flaps here are going to go in, okay, like so. And then these are going to fold up. So the two middle pieces are the outside, and then this middle piece, so let's glue those. So we're going to do the two middle flaps. So those are those, and then the, oops, I think I moved it a little. I did. And then this is this front piece here, where the or the back where the flap goes. Okay, so we need that center piece there. We also need one on the front. this is the front so this is the bottom these are the pieces that are going to get glue we don't need it on that all right 
right. So if you need a quick snapshot of where to glue those, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my Happy Easter. So I'm gonna grab a piece of polished pink and we're gonna use our <clears throat> Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad. I'm gonna ink that up and I'm just gonna stamp it. I'm gonna move it down so I can see what I'm doing here without putting my head in the camera. We're gonna stamp Happy Easter. Hopefully that's good. Not too crooked. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let me clean my stamp. I always like to clean as I go. And then we're going to be using um, my mini guillotine cutter and we're gonna trim the Happy Easter. On both sides to make sure it's nice and straight. All right, and we'll save that piece of polished pink. And then I'm gonna just trim the ends with my paper snips. Let's grab it. Let's do the other side. All right, put that to the side. Let's talk about our bunny. Our bunny is using the ladybug punch, so we're gonna slide it in there. We're gonna give it a nice little punch. All right, and we're gonna get rid of that section because we don't need it anymore. And I'll keep this section maybe for a mat. And then we need a half inch circle punch, which Stampin' Up! doesn't sell the half inch anymore, but I have it linked in the description below where you can find one if you need one. All right, so I need that out of basic white cardstock. All right, so now we have our ladybug. Let's turn our ladybug into a bunny with his back to us. And I, I must assure you that Jasper turns his back on me when I reprimand him, so. They definitely have a character. They are funny. I never knew that bunnies had so much personality until my daughter got one. <laughs> He's free roaming, <coughs> excuse me, and he um, uses a litter box. He's pretty spectacular, actually. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be the body, and this is gonna be the ears. Now look at how horrid that looks, it's humongous, right? So we're gonna trim away on both sides a portion just to make the ear more narrow. So that's what I'm getting rid of. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, you know, as best I can. It's not gonna be identical. I'm not a robot or a machine, but Try and do the best I can. So there's my two ears. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap paper and I am gonna use basic gray, which is the color of our cardstock that we're using and a dauber. I'm gonna ink that up and I'm just gonna add a little definition around my bunny's ears, just giving a little bit of color around the edges and let's go around our little ladybug body as well I just really think that it adds a lot just that little tiny bit of color all right so let's go ahead and assemble our bunny grab our silicone mat back in here We're going to add a little glue to the ears here. And we will attach them to our ladybug. And now we have us a little bunny. And when we add the tail, I'm gonna grab a glue dot. Not a glue dot, I mean a um, Stampin' Dimensional. If I can find them, they're here somewhere on my table. Here we go. <clears throat> Put one on the back of my tail. Grab my take your pick tool. 
take the back off there. And we're gonna add that to our bunny. <clears throat> make sure his tail is centered there and kind of low. There. Look at a cute bunny. All right, let's get that out of the way. Let's glue our box together and put all this funness together. So this is, we're at the easy part now. We've done all the hard parts. Let's put some glue down. So we're gonna glue these two pieces on each other. We're gonna start with the glue on the one closest to the short flap. So we're gonna put wet glue on this side and then the other side the same. We're gonna get these two out of the way. We're gonna glue these two together, okay? So we're gonna bring that in and we're gonna glue this one to this one. And we're just gonna hold it in place. And once that's set, then we're gonna bring the one that has the DSP on it up to meet that, okay? So there's one. Let's do that again. The one in the back, which is the one closest to this flap, is getting the glue. We're bringing the front one like this. Okay, hold that in place till it grabs and sets. And then we're gonna put adhesive on the one that has the DSP. We're gonna bring that up just like that. There's our little box. Put our glue away for a second. We're gonna grab our Pepidoma candy drawer and fish out a um, Lindor. There we go. And this one is a sea salt milk chocolate. Sea salt milk chocolate. All right. Stick that inside. Oops, I didn't mean to have that. There we go. Come on. <laughs> oh boy. Only when I'm on camera. Only then. All right, so now we want to um, slip these two sides in, okay? And this back piece, okay? So there's our little box. Nice and closed. If Don't be too careful that you forget which is the top. So I like to lift it up a little. And we're gonna stick our bunny on the front. So we're gonna add a little bit of adhesive just to the bottom circle of the ladybug body. And we're gonna attach him onto his little square. So cute he is. And then we're gonna add our two Um, Stampin' Dimensionals. We're gonna take the backs off of them. And add our Happy Easter. Push it down or lift it up, hold it, smush. Then you can reclose it. Such a great little box. And like I said, I like to have it kind of propped up because you can see that little happy Easter. What do you guys think? Ladybug punch, Easter bunny stamp set. Beautiful combination. I hope that you enjoyed me making this happy Easter lint chocolate mini bunny box. Big mouthful, cute box. Didn't take too long to make. And I had to explain it to you guys. So I hope that you enjoy this project. I'm going to lay this one here so you can see the bunny. We'll put this one in sight so that you can see the happy Easter. And um, I'll see you back here tomorrow for another video. Please share my video. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, you can click any of the links below to purchase anything that you've seen. I would appreciate your business. And um, share my video. I appreciate that as well. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It really helps my um, my reach over YouTube. And I appreciate that from you guys. I'll see you here tomorrow. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping.